So today we have got another cup final, the Carabao Cup. We've won it before, maybe we'll win it again as we look to try and win the quintuple this year. We've already got the Charity Cup um, from early on in the season. We've now got this cup final against Manchester United, which is going to be huge. And today we've also got a big game in the Champions League. Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco. Today we have got Ajax in the Champions League first knockout round first leg and then Manchester United in the Carabao Cup final. Now since we were last here, it's, it's been a couple of days since I've played. I do apologise for the lack of video the last couple of days. I've had a lot of university work to get through. It's like the last little bits now uh, till I'm nearly finished. But that's mostly out of the way now. So now I can start to concentrate on making videos for you guys a little bit more. And there's no better way to get back into it with two massive games today. Uh, so since you were last here... I don't think we made any more transfers uh, at all. A few players went out on loan, but no one else was sold. Who's James Kempton? Do, who's, who's he this then? I'm not quite sure who he is. Don't know when he came in. When did he come in? Okay, September. He's probably his free transfer. I, I can't even remember. That's how long ago it was now for me. But nothing more happened in the transfer window. No one left in the end. Uh, everyone ended up staying. So we'll have to address that next transfer window. There may be a bit of movement then, I think, because Morala had a lot of bids come in of like 80 million, but we said no because he's now he's now five star current ability, which I found a little bit weird because he was like four star. Now he's jumped up to five for some reason, but we'll have to wonder about that another day. We need to look at what happened since you were last here. My last time you were here was Derby and Burnley. Both wins in the Premier League. After that, uh, Carabao Cup semi-final, we beat Reading. And we'd already beaten them 6-2 six, uh, six in the first leg. 3-1 in the second leg. Fantastic stuff. Into the final. Watford in the FA Cup fourth round, a 3-1 win there. And then a shock 3-1 loss to West Ham. Maybe not a shock one, because they're doing pretty well this season. But we would not expect to be losing 3-1 to West Ham United, which was a real dent to us. That means that we did lose ground on Man United in the title race this season. So actually, I think they're seven points ahead of us now, which is pretty rough actually that's gonna be a, a tough one to claw back we then beat Brighton though 3-0 Morala Zook and Wilfred Thomas getting on the score sheet before having a very nervy game against Swansea it was 3 all right until the 94th minute when the butcher came up and scored a huge winner for us we had a goal disallowed in here as well somewhere um so we could have won 5-3 actually but 4-3 uh, result in the day with the butcher getting a very late winner for us we then had Sunderland in the FA Cup fifth round. Uh, they had a man sent off and we scored three goals. So pretty routine stuff. We've had very easy cup runs this year. Uh, like Reading in the semi-final there in the championship. Um, Arsenal in the Carabao Cup fourth round was actually, or quarter final rather, was quite tough. But other than that, we've had pretty easy draws, actually. I don't think anyone's been in the Premier League or things like that. So it's been it's been all right for us, actually. Uh, however, the final is going to be a tough one against Man United. First up, though, is the Ajax game, and this is the lineup we've got for it. Sesa in goal. That Belgian chap, Zouk, Kaufman, and Hernandez as that back line. Zouk comes in as Patino. Where is he? Uh, he's picked up an injury on international duty, unfortunately. So he's out for a couple more days, a week or so, actually. So you're going to miss both games today, which will be upsetting. Uh, Mertens and Oriol start in the midfield. Morala and the Butcher out on the wings. And Wolf and Thomas and Hammer Time start up from Mark Hall has just come back from injury, so he may come on later on in today's game. So kickoff is upon us here. And uh, we're playing away today, which is good. Uh, I'd like to play away first in these games. Get a few away goals on the board or just see what the scoreline's like. And then we know what we can do in the second leg. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Ajax is a, a team we should be beating, really. Uh, we are a much better side than Ajax, I believe. And uh, it should be routine, I think, winning this today. Obviously, they came second in our group. There we go. We've won. Already, I say we've won already. That, we've scored already. That's what I meant to say. What I was trying to say before that was uh, we won our group. Ajax came second in their group. Um, that's how it works, obviously, in that first round. It's seeded, isn't it? So Ajax, second in their group. This should be a routine win for us today. And as I said, Hammer Time puts us 1-0 up already. It's looking good. He's picked up a knock, though. Could be a bruised knee. Um, is he? He looks like he wants to come off, apparently. Um, we'll, give him a little, we'll give him a bit longer, see what happens. But Mark Hall is waiting, I suppose. Another highlight for us now is the Butcher puts the ball forward to Hammer Time on that wing, puts it into Wilfred Thomas, and it is 2-0 Lincoln already. Come on. So today is, is Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday, I was playing in the FM Charity Cup uh, organised by Fox and Box. That was yesterday in Leamington, uh, Leamington Stadium. It was great, actually. It was really good fun to meet everyone. Um, my parents decided to come. That was good to see them there. They decided to drive me down and things like that. So that was very helpful. So thank you very much to them. Um, it was good, good atmosphere. Good to see everyone there. And... Um, 
The video isn't out yet. It wasn't live streamed because there was no internet connection at the ground as Ajax had gone score. That's that's a little bit worrying, but uh, we won't worry about it too much. Yeah, there was no internet at the ground, so it couldn't be live streamed. Um, so there is going to be a video on the official Foot Manager channel coming out pretty soon. Uh, when I get hold of the footage, I'll do my own video on it as well and things like that. So um, expect those. If you follow it on social media, you know that it was, it was well, do I give you a score? I mean, the score is freely available on Twitter and things like that. So um, if you want to know, if you want to know it, I'll let you go and look it up on, on Twitter and things like that. Um, if not, then you can wait for my video and see it and things like that. And um, I won't give any spoilers, actually. I'll say that. I won't give any spoilers. Uh, but it was a good game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The shooting video was, was, was a good practice for it, I think, that I did. Well, half-time here. Uh, Inter Milan beating Man United, which is good news for us. Uh, however, of course, we're winning as well. So that's, that's pretty decent. In the dressing room, we'll just hand it to the assistant for now. I'm going to take... I am going to take hammer time off, I think. He did twist his knee a little bit. He's got a goal and assist. So actually, maybe we should... I don't know. We'll, we'll take him off. Mark Cole, get yourself on the pitch for the second half. Go on, mate. First highlight now of this, uh, this second half for us now is the butcher gets the ball out on that right wing. Puts it into Morale, who... <sighs> I, I, how did that not go in the back of a net? I don't even know what happened there. I think Morale sort of hit against a crossbar and it rocketed down. Someone else had a shot and it was saved or something like that. It didn't go in the back of a net either way, but uh, I think it should have done now. Mark Cole with a chance to come forward, gets past his man brilliantly, cuts inside, puts it in, cleared, but only as far as Oriol, back into Wilfred Thomas, back to Oriol, out to Wilfred Thomas, Wilfred Thomas in, the butcher gets on the rebound from the keeper, the initial save, and it is 3-1 here with three away goals. That is huge. I mean, it's looking good. It's looking good so far. It means at the moment that Ajax have to beat us by three goals if they want to go through in the next leg. Um, of course, if they score more than three goals and they've got the away goal advantage on their hands. But uh, I, I can't see it happening, especially in Lincoln. I can't see that happening at all. The Butcher has also picked up a knock. Surprise, surprise. Bruised head, apparently. Lukasic, get yourself on the pitch for him. Oriel and Merton's not really played well these past couple of games, I've got to say. I've not been impressed at all. Um... But I'm going to keep on the pitch for now because I like that. I'm going to, leave, I'm going to think I'll play Jalapeno and Bacoa in my next game, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Gomez is going to come on for that Belgian chap there on the left-hand side uh, so he can rest up for the, the big game against Man United. Another chance for us now. Mark Hall on the ball. Plays it back to Hernandez, into Oriol, back to Hall. Can we just get a ball in the middle? It can, but it wasn't particularly good. And the header back to the goalkeeper was very, very risky as Wilfred Thomas was waiting and lurking there. Their goalkeeper now with a chance to uh, get the ball forward, although he doesn't really do much with it. Plays the smell, he plays it back to the goalkeeper, and his ball at the pitch wasn't very good. That was poor bit of play there from Ajax, and now we've come forward with Wilfred Thomas into Mark Hall. It's 4-1. I think we're through. I think we're pretty safe, um, but I mean, we can't, we can't say we are for certain, but looking at the scoreline and the ability we have compared to Ajax, I'm pretty confident we're going through to the, uh, the quarterfinals. Ajax just been put forward there through their man. Sacer makes a big save, and that was crucial, actually. If they got another goal there, that would have made the tie a little bit more risky, I think, actually. But they haven't scored, and they've not scored from this corner either, and it's full-time. Ajax 1, Lincoln 4. I mean, I'm pretty confident we're going to go through to the quarterfinals now. Man United at Inter ended up one all in the end, which is interesting. Butcher out, 47 days. Of course he is, injured again. That was the first knockout round we lost in last year. I couldn't remember... If it was the, the quarterfinals of the first knockout rounds. We won't dwell on that too much. That was just horrific, basically, that game. That was horrific. It does mean, though, if we get to the quarterfinals, it is the furthest we've gone in any European competition. So, I mean, obviously, we got to the final of the Europa League, but this eclipses the Europa League. So, it's the furthest we've got in any European competition, in my eyes, at least, if we manage to get through Ajax. Ah, Wilfred's picked up a knock for uh, one to two days. That's a little bit of a blow. However, it shouldn't be too bad because the game's in two days time he'll be on the bench i suppose mark call and hammer time will have to start in front of him i feel like i forgot to show you the table again as well i did i did say we we're seven points behind man united that's all that really matters now if i'm honest with you that's all that really matters arsenal aren't going to catch us up neither are man city it's just between us and united basically um so as long as I keep updated with that that's all right if you are interested though chelsea narrowly narrowly avoiding the relegation zone they were in it a few games ago i think they picked up a draw or a win that got them out of it uh, but they are in a proper relegation battle. Liverpool, who were down there as well earlier in the season, have recovered a little bit. But they're still mid-table, uh, too far off to do anything for Champions League and things in the next, next season or so. But Chelsea could be going down. Ah. And now Zouk is injured for uh, three to four weeks. Okay. Oh, God. Do we have enough centre-backs now? We've got Kaufman. I don't know if Patino's fit or not. I don't think he is fit. Uh, it might tell me in like a, a moment's time on the news feed saying like how fit players are, but I, d I don't think he will be. I mean, he, he's not been on here, Patino. 
So either he's fit or he's just he's he's failed. He's failed a medical test. I don't know. Oh no, he, he can't play. Patino can't play. So that means uh, Craig Sturgis will have to come in as a uh, defender there. Well, who do we even bring on the bench? Uh, um, go on, Shailon, get yourself on there. That'd be all right. The butcher is still a little bit injured, uh, so we're going to play Lukasic ahead of him. We're going to have to bring Mark Hall on for Wilfred Thomas. He's also got a bit of a knock still. Uh, Jalapeno will come on for Mertens, I think. Do I, do I play Barish instead of Cesa? No, I, I, I mean, I've, he's played every other round, but we've got Sturgis in defence now against Man United, and I feel like we need a bit of extra security at the back, and Cesa will offer that more than Barish Erzi will. So um, we do want to win this, obviously. So we'll play a, the strongest lineup I think we probably can do with the fit players that we have at the moment. So uh, there we go. There's the lineup. Hopefully, that's going to be enough. Oh, to be fair, I probably should have brought one of these guys back a little bit just to help out midfield a little bit. I feel like we may be a little bit too attacking for the Man United side. Um, they're playing a very, very strong lineup. That is very strong. Well, there's not much we can do now as kickoff is upon us. Jalapeno plays it off, and um, let's get started with this then. A cup final, our second chance of silverware. Predictions in the comments now. First highlight of the game then, eight minutes in. It's looking like it's going towards us as Lacassic picks it up on that right-hand side, puts a lovely ball through to Hall, who puts it into the area. I don't know how our players didn't really get onto the end of that now as their man re clears it, but only as far as that Belgian chap who's got a chance to bring it back now. Jalapeno into Oriol. Oriol now on the ball, trying to swing round into Hammer Time. Hammer Time cuts through into Mark Hall, but he couldn't really do much with it. Out to Hernandez, back into Morala. 1-0. Come on, boys. Let's just keep calm. Keep calm, but we're we're winning. So uh, it's only eight minutes though. Only eight minutes, nine minutes now. 81 minutes to go. We can't get too excited. United now with a chance to come forward through to Zapata who hits the post and Kaufman clears. That was <laughs> lucky. Very, very lucky for us actually. I don't know how he put it onto the post from there to be fair. He should have just put it either side of the goalkeeper and should have comfortably scored. We put the ball on the back of a net. However, Jalapeno is offside it says down there. Um, which is a bit annoying to be fair, but at least we're, we're showing that we can get the ball in the back of a net. We just need to do it two or three more times and then we should be all right, I think. 36 minutes now and Man United have a chance to come forward through their throw in. Zapata puts the ball out to Reed, but that Belgian chap gets in the way just about and Kaufman picks the ball up. But he, his ball is rubbish and Man United now can just come forward once again. But Hernandez makes a great interception, although his ball, again, not very good. Just play it simple, boys. Keep possession. Keep the possession and... Results will come. The ball up to Morala, not a good one again. They win possession back. Ben Reed on the ball uh, into Levy, into Zapata, who's going to punish us. Luckily, doesn't. Straight away, another highlight. Sesa up towards uh, Mark Call this time, who wins it down towards Oriol. And Oriol can come forward with the ball. Gets tackled, though. Tim De Groot now trying to come forward with it uh, through to their main man, up towards Zapata, who again is. We've shown how lethal he is. He's just sort of not hit the target yet. If he hits the target, he's scoring. I'm guaranteed he's going to score if he hits the target, and it's going to annoy me. I mean, I think we've had a, a decent-ish first half. We've held strong. Uh, United probably have the better of the half, I think, maybe. Um, it's close, though, whatever you want to say. It's close. Uh, we're winning, though, which is the main thing, of course. And Craig Sturgis is holding it pretty nicely. So, well done, matey. First highlight of this second half is going towards United, but Sesa collects that loose throw, and it was a poor throw in, to be fair. Uh, it just depends on his distribution now. Just play it safe, really. Play it safe. Keep possession. Up towards Morala, who does win it on towards Hammer Time, but he loses the ball. And now Reed comes towards Zapata once again, being looked on by uh, Calvin. He puts it into the area. Tim De Groot is there. And it's all square once again. And I've got to say, I think United are probably in the driving seat. Although they've had the one shot on target and they scored from it, which does annoy me. All right, I'm going to say demand more, I think. Demand more in the second half. Uh, we want to do this for the fans. We need to get a few more shots on target because that's not been good enough. Free kick comes in from Mark Call, cleared by Zapata, though, but only as far as Kaufman, who's got no options really. What are our men doing? Lacassic on the ball now, into Jalapeno, back to Oriol. Oriol now cutting forward into Lacassic, into Hammer Time. Lacassic shouts of a penalty there, surely, I don't know, but Morella now wins the ball back. And we just need to calm down, slow his tempo down a little bit, keep the possession. Just be sensible with it. Oriol, in towards Hammer Time, into Mark Hall, the Wonder Kid. Back to Mark Hall, back to Hammer Time. I mean, his shot, though, is saved by the goalkeeper. Not the best one in the end, but it shows the pressure that we have. It shows that we're trying to a little bit more, trying to be a bit harder. Just keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Now, I'm going to say push forward this time. Um, that could be a little bit risky, I think, but we've got to try it. Mark Hall with a free kick, almost in the same position as that last free kick was in. Uh, cleared away again there, but he picks the ball up out towards Lukasic, into Jalapeno. 
Jalapeno lose it though in Zapata and now here come the Man United counter-attack. Dean through, he got the ball. Can he get his pass through? Sturgis with a fantastic interception and Mark Hall wins that clearance at the back towards Lacassic. Lacassic into Mark Hall. Mark Hall to Oriol. Come on boys, we've got to do this now. Get the ball forward. Oh, that was an absolutely atrocious ball and Zapata now with a chance to work his magic. Lorenzi out towards Ben Reid, who's unmarked, basically. He can get a cross in. A free cross into Zapata. Sacer with an incredible save there. He's absolutely saved us today. I mean, they've got a corner now. I'll watch this corner come in, but I'm going to make some changes afterwards as they've hit the post from it and scored. It's all turned around now. This is not what we wanted at all. Let's make some changes. Right, Jalapeno, he's, he's not played that well. Mertens, get yourself back on the pitch. Uh, the classic has played well, but I do want to get the butcher out there. I think he could probably create a bit of magic that we probably need. Uh, Thomas is probably going to come on in a few moments' time. For <sighs> just do it now, just do it now. Three subs at the same time, slightly risky, but we're going to do it. We're going to go to overload as well, and we're going to say get creative out there. Get creative for the last 15 minutes or so. Just try and create something. We need to just get ourselves back in this game. The quintuple is slowly slipping away. And I don't like this. Mertens is ball out towards Oriol on the edge of the area. Looks like it could be decent. Back to Oriol. <sighs> Poor shot in the end though. Come on. United now with another chance to come forward. Ben Reid now on the ball this time. On the opposite wing. <sighs> and that has just killed things off I think. Well the quintuple was a nice dream. But uh, it's, it's not going to happen this season unfortunately. I suppose we can still get a quadruple if we win everything else, but, you know, it's it's, it's not the same really, is it, as the clock ticks down. And uh, by looks of things, Man United are seconds away from sealing the Carabao Cup title. We've lost on the day, I think that's, I think that's maybe the second time we've lost the Carabao Cup final, I'll have to double check in a second. But uh, it's, it always, it's always painful losing a, a Cup final, especially when you're winning it as well. Always painful. Yep, that's the third time. We've lost the Carabao Cup final uh, the second time to Man United. It's, we don't seem to have much luck in this Carabao Cup. We've won it once. I still don't have much luck. We get to the final enough times, but then uh, when we get there, we, we just don't win it. I've got to say, we, we really don't have much luck in finals, do we? Don't have much luck in finals. Can we look at like our competition history? Right. So, I mean, I mean, it's already broken the screen because it says we won the Euro uh, Europa Cup, which we, we haven't. We came runners up there. Uh, and it says runners-up in the FA Cup, but we did win the FA Cup. But there's one runners-up thing. Uh, runners-up three times in the uh, in the in the Carabao Cup. Runners-up once in the Community Shield. That's five times. Um, and then we came runners-up in League Two as well when we uh, were in League Two for a while. And then any, anything else? Anything else since we were here? Uh, no, I mean runners-up a couple of times in the uh, under-18 leagues and things like that. But for us as actual competitive team Lincoln City we've been runners up five times which that's probably five times too many right because next episode right next episode then uh we're going to play Man United again this time in the Premier League and then we're going to skip the Stoke game and do the second Ajax leg so very very quick turnaround for the next episode so uh, expect that very soon Man United and Ajax once again so if you enjoyed today's episode make sure you do drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and i will see you next time for some more lincoln loco action <laughs>